All the whaling boats have come in and it is quite dark and quite quiet in Hanover. Two guys are peeing outside of a tavern. The tavern is mostly empty. All of a sudden the church, the church bells toll. The guys look up from pain. They realize it's 12 o'clock. They start looking around, wondering, is it going to get them tonight? Is the hellhound going to come? They slowly start walking back to the boats, fearing his red eyes. Fearing his black man, that it will drag them back into the pits of hell. All of a sudden, as the boys walk back, they start to hear scratching on the cobblestones. And the cobblestones are damned and a little frosty and just very slippery and it's a cold night so the hellhound they think is somewhere around the boys start to climb up the plank and one of them slips. The other boy turns around. Are you okay? Are you okay? And then from out of the water, something grabs his leg and pulls him down into the deep. And he was gone. He was missing like all the rest. Blood of the Whale takes place in... Our story takes place in December of 1860 in Hanover Hills, New York. It's a small whaling village. It's quite quaint between their tavern, their artisans, and their chapel. Things keep on the up and up until recently when people have gone missing. People have found blood all over areas, mostly through the outer lying woods. They have thought it was a hellhound. Um, but no one is sure. Some think it's a witch that lives out in the woods that's drinking the blood of animals. Some, think, some people think it's a hellhound and it's taking livestock, but it's now taking people to quench its thirst. Um, the mayor has gone missing, so Grace Ebensworth, his daughter, has put up an $1,000 wanted poster. You guys have seen this wanted poster and have decided to go on this journey. 
Um, the port of calls are New Orleans, which boards Wednesday. Jacksonville, which boards Friday. Norfolk, Virginia, which boards Monday. Ocean City, Delaware, which boards Tuesday. And Wednesday, we end up in Hanover. Not everybody, the great thing about this is you don't have to play this game. You can play the next game or the game after that, one that tickles your fancy. These are all going to be horror games and people are going to be hunters and spiritualists and dealing with the problems during the 1860s in the United States. This is before the Civil War, but it's actually the day that stuff starts to happen in the Civil War. Isn't that weird? Some may say it is almost out of this world. Well, I hope you enjoy the games. You just need a D6, a piece of paper, and off we go. The rules are set above us. Or I've also sent you personal rules on a little video. Just a little thing to spice things up. Well, have a good night, hunters and spiritualists. I'll be waiting for you to board my boat. Oh, you need a little bit of a backstory. I need to know who your character is. And why they decided it's time to jump on the boat.